Hey everybody, it's Sherry again. Um, I come to you today with an important message that I really felt that I needed to share with you as soon as possible. Um, it was a channeled message that I received in one of my sessions from a beautiful group of angelic beings. But before I share the message, I want to explain to you why this is important. A lot of a lot of people are feeling like they are experiencing uh, roadblocks right now. And a lot of my sessions with my clients, um, I have a lot of people saying that they're feeling like they're really stuck. You know, a lot of people have been doing the same job for a, a large percentage of their life. Um, has been spent doing a, a certain job or doing a certain trade and then suddenly it's feeling not fulfilling anymore and you're feeling depleted and low low motivation and, and trying to figure out what 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 really fills my soul what is what am I passionate about you know and this is by design um, there are also a lot of children that are going into the workforce right now really having no idea what they want to do and feeling unmotivated and unpassionate about anything that they are being provided uh, as, as an option right now or an opportunity, even school, they don't know what to study, you know, and this is what, this is important. This is what's the Aquarian age is about. This is the beginning of, of, of this great shift of consciousness where we are being called to really figure out what it is that our soul is here to do why we're here um, and to heal past traumas and to uh, raise our consciousness and our awareness so that we can develop the passions that we were here uh, to bring and instill the wisdom of our previous lives. Because even though a lot of us have endured a lot of trauma in past lives, we still want to take with us the wisdom and we do carry that forward. But in a third density reality of this matrix, this convoluted matrix that I that, that I call of of you know convoluted matrix of of free will. It's false free will. You know, people always talk about free will, but in this reality, at least the one that we've been in for quite some time, it is not truly free will. It is free will based on um, barriers and uh, uh, certain restrictions that the powers that were created for us and so although we feel like we're we have free will in reality we don't we just have the free will that we are allowed to have and and that has that has been the the the, the that's kind of how where we've been for for a very long period of time and now we're taking our power back we are tapping out of or we're moving ourselves out of that convoluted fear matrix and we are discovering who we truly are and the wisdom is coming back the veil is getting thin and we are going to get to a point where we do remember our past lives and we are, take that wisdom so we, we we shed the trauma and we remove the blockages and we connect with our higher consciousness and all the wisdom and all the lifetimes that we've shared that we've had whether it's here or on another form perhaps an animal or outside of here in another in a completely different form, we will be able to download all of that knowledge and be able to utilize it in a very powerful and profound way and in a very liberated, true embodiment of free will here. And we will be able to shift the trajectory of the planet and where we're going. But it's a really treacherous time right now. And the powers that were, which we have to stop calling them the powers that be because they no longer are at power anymore. The light has one, but we are now seeing the effects of that in our physical reality and things are transmuting they're shifting things paradigms are breaking down false illusions are, are are getting broken and people are starting to see within the veil but during this period of time what i what i got the message that i received the other day is that so many people are in this period of this lull and they're feeling anxious like oh, i know i have more to do and and i do kind of have an idea of what i want to do or people maybe that have been doing it for a long period of time that have been spiritually awakened for a very long time are starting to lose patience and everyone's asking the same question when when is this going to happen and when i had the session the other day with a woman a really profound message came through and they talked about the consciousness or the the super highway of the consciousness and our enlightenment and, and what's really truly going on right now and because this is such a difficult process that has so many variables and so many elements there's reasons why we aren't moving in the speed in which many of us would like and there are delays and it has to do with the fact that not only is this an individual ascension process but this is also a collective process of ascension and it's 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 massive and we we have setbacks and then we have periods where we are feel like things are escalating and moving really quickly 
you know, and the the light, this, the spiritual war that's going on between the light and the dark and, and trying to, and the dark is just losing their power and their control. There are a lot of ripple effects from that. And so they, it's, it's paralyzing for many people as we trans, transmute this energy and the veil is lifted and we, we unravel those parts of ourselves of programming uh, and we're, we're in the process of deprogramming. It's really disconcerting and very scary for, for many people to awaken to this. And we are in a period right now where people are still asleep. People are just awakening. People are going through their awakening, people who are already awakened. And then there are those that have come in as light beings, know who they are and are guiding the masses. And we're all on different speeds on purpose because this is a huge endeavor. And so um, many people are feeling stuck and many people are feeling like there are roadblocks. And I want to mention that there are a lot of reasons for the roadblocks. And I got an analogy from a previous session that I did recently where I was shown that if you can imagine a bunch of thick ropes hanging over treacherous waters, just rocky or treacherous water that like, looks scary to enter. And there's these long ropes just hanging and there's millions of them. And imagine people are traveling uh, from rope to rope and that is our ability to trans to shift through different realities, different dimensional fields, different knowings. And it's, it, and it's scary to go from one rope to another, but that's how we go through this spiritual path. And there are many right now who are clinging on to the rope that they feel the most comfortable with, which is their old beliefs, their old belief systems, their programming. And out of fear, out of resentment, out of variety of reasons, they are refusing to let go because, you know, they're paralyzed. You know, some people would rather stay in a false illusion of, of reality because they don't know what is on the other side and they're afraid to make that move. Even if they know it, it could be better, they're afraid. So there's a lot of fear. So people are clinging on to the, the rope of their, of their reality and refusing to shift to move or do anything. And that is causing a significant um, roadblock in our collective consciousness shifting. So that was the first analogy that I got, which was, I, I, I think it makes a lot of sense. But then when I had the other one today, or I'm sorry, the other day, it made even more sense. So I'm, we're, we're piecing together pieces, pieces or parts of a whole puzzle here that nobody has all the answers to. And, you know, even I have been wrong previously, nobody has it 100% right. That's the point. We are our own saviors. So it's not my responsibility, nor is it my obligation to awaken everybody. Um, but I do play my small part and those that listen to me and are affected in a positive way, then great, I've able, I was able to help them just like others have helped me and so on, because this is an individual spiritual ascension, but it's also a collective one. We are channeling the wisdom of the Lemurians, of the indigenous people, um, um, the, the Persians, you know, there's so many, the, the Greek gods, the deities, there's so many um, uh, collective knowledge and wisdom that we are tapping into. We have a lot of help, but they are, all of them are saying the same thing that we individually have to awaken. Um, and it's very challenging and, and again, treacherous period of time, but that's part of the awakening process. We have to trust in our knowing that we are our own saviors so that we don't look to people as the pe people that are going to save us, whether it's politically or spiritually or everything, or teachers or mentors, and not certainly not me. No one should look at me as someone that is their savior either. Please don't do that. Um, none of us, none of us should be looking at each other as saviors. Perhaps they, we are uh, positive influencers or those that can affect people in a positive way, or perhaps give them a little piece of that knowledge that they were missing that will spark something within them and then activate them. And then suddenly they have their knowing, because I believe where we're going in the future is a period of time where we are able to download and, and have full access to our higher consciousness where all the wisdom lies within um what else did i want to say before i read this message um there is also part of the roadblocks you know the media is breaking down and many people aren't watching the the news anymore and so this is causing a, a big panic on the powers that were and the power struggle that they're still trying to hold on to and, and what control that they still maintain and so they are sending out and emitting 
clear frequencies from cell towers and all sorts of different places. So people are feeling irrational fears and um, that, that they don't know where they come from and they know it's not theirs, but they don't know where it's coming from. If this is you and you're feeling fearful about nothing and you don't have any substance to it, but you're feeling crippled or paralyzed, recognize that it's it's not your fear. You're feeling fears that are not your own. And, and as soon as you recognize that, you can shift out of it. Our intention is so powerful. If you say, I no longer consent to the fear, uh, this fear matrix, I am an individual soul. I am sovereign. I am of the light. I no longer consent to fear. And so it is. Bring Literally visualize yourself moving out of it. Um. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read this message really quickly. And then um, this is a channeled message. Again, it's a client of mine. I will not give her information. I will not give any of her personal information. But I did have her permission to share parts of this. So it will, uh, not all of the message, but a good majority of it. We both agreed that it's a message that we needed to help people. I, I needed to give out to help people kind of understand where we are right now in the collective and why we're experiencing these lull periods, these roadblocks. And it's it's not it's not a personal necessarily a personal blockage. It could be a blockage much bigger than than your own knowing and under in understanding. So I'm going to share this with with you, with her permission. And this, who this information came from, was a group of angelic beings that were were with her. That came as a group. When you when you work with angels, they have a very specific uh, feel to them. They're very warm, loving. They almost envelop you within the most beautiful, peaceful, calm energy that you've ever felt. And if anyone has ever had the pleasure of feeling that or being around it. There's nothing that you can compare it to. So they come in a beautiful energy of peace and love and harmony. And this is the message that I wrote down for her that I am sh now sharing with you. And I'll try to read it as slowly as I can so I'm nice and clear. Tap into your inner knowing and understand that the world is going through a transformation of astronomical proportions. The darkness is fading away as the light becomes brighter. This can bring setbacks and delays beyond your control. A large part of humanity, those that are awake, are tuning in and are forced to reevaluate their beliefs and what is truly important. This is not an easy process. Many are reflecting on past traumas and discovering who they truly are. As a result of all of this healing and shedding, Many people are not directing their attention on the things that they used to. Although you feel as though your funds are thinning out, you are in excess when it comes to what really matters. The world seems as though it is moving at lightning speed around you, yet you feel frozen in time. This is because in the superhighway of mass transformation, there are those in the fast lane on hyperspeed in order to quickly turn around and help others. There are those shifting lanes trying to find what resonates with their spiritual growth. Those same people may even find themselves making U-turns and starting again as they discover what it is they are truly passionate about. These same people may even seem to cause traffic jams preventing others from passing through. And then there are others on cruise control. They have found their path. However, as they navigate through the superhighway of the collective awakening, they realize just how many people are on it and at different speeds. They find themselves having to slow down during areas of turbulence and traffic jams, then speeding up when the path clears to a cruising speed. And then suddenly they may come to a complete stop while the cars in front cause a roadblock blockage that affects everyone around them. We give you this metaphor to understand the bigger picture at play here. Variables too numerous to predict. Undoubtedly, you have hit some of these roadblocks where things seem to stand still, yet others seem to fly by on their own private road. Frustrating, yes. 
although transparency is a key factor in a great shifting of consciousness. We lovingly encourage you to recognize that you are in a state of cruise control and what you are navigating through is necessary for humanity as you move forward. And you must realize that you too have caused roadblocks throughout your journey as well, just as you have also been in hyper speed, passing by many. The Aquarian age is about guiding humanity together and working as a team, putting ego aside and recognize the ripple effect that your actions have on others. This is a learning phase for all humans at this time. And for those like yourself that are on a path of service to humanity, know that you are divinely protected, guided, and you will be provided for even if in the moment it is hard to see it. Trust within your heart that you are here in this exact moment for a reason. All else will fall into place in divine timing, not only for you, but for humanity as a collective of light and endless potential. We salute you in your efforts and kindly ask that you never lose faith. So many of us are on cruise control. Many of us are on a super highway. Many of us are stopped. That has to do with the massive amounts of consciousness levels that people are on at this planet. And many of, many of which have been dealing with lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of programming and trauma and abuse that they are trying to awaken from. And we want to have patience for those people because they are in a deep sleep of hypnosis and may not understand or understand this reality around them. And it's quite scary. And then there are those that are really on this, such a uh, accelerated path. And I believe that's by design so that those of us that are on a higher, a faster path can slow down at some point, turn around and then help the person behind us. Um, not behind us, that sounds like a hierarchy, but help other people that are still trying to get to, to a, a, a higher point until we all reach this level of enlightenment that we can share. Because where we're going to is a place of unity, oneness, and there will be, there will no longer be power. No one will have complete control. It will be a collective uh, um, oneness or cohesive environment of collaboration and building together as uh, as groups and societies that we that we build together so just have patience and try not to lose hope right now because things aren't happening at the speed in which we would hope and that has a lot to do with things that are out of your control different variables and i believe that we are receiving a lot of help and a lot of guidance but ultimately every single person is affecting this transformation right now so when i have a session with someone and they say to me i don't think that i'm just one person how can i affect the collective and that's so untrue every single person matters here every single person has a soul and a light and the, the stronger it becomes and the more connected that you can become to the consciousness or your high and your higher self the collective and yourself the faster or more, um, all of us can be in that in that cruise control or hyper speed. You know, we don't. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent of the people that are on the planet right now to awaken. But we're we're so close to getting to that point where we are just going to take off. And I and I believe we've already gotten there. But there are still dark ones that are running rampant, trying to hold on to the little bit of control that they have left. And and my my advice to you is: do not engage. Do not give your power away by being distracted by things that are being thrown in front of you uh, in various ways through the television set, through social media. <clears throat> a lot of it is a distraction mechanism. They're trying to fear, fear mongle you. They're trying to keep you connected to that fear matrix so that you do not see things through your own eyes, through your third eye, through your soul's eye. Um, and do not engage. Do not allow that to distract you right now. Focus on what it is. Don't pay any attention to the wars going on, even within the spiritual community. People are turning on each other left and right. Just don't engage. Don't get involved. Don't take sides. That is my number one advice right now. Do not take a side. Even the people that you have been following for a long time and they're fighting with this person, don't take a side. 
just maybe turn off the, 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 the computer or the phone for a while and say, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to disconnect. I can't, I, I, I don't know what's up and, and what's down anymore. And that's okay. If you're that person that you're turned around so many times and you don't know who to trust, then turn it off and trust yourself. Learn how to connect with yourself, ground yourself. I've done so many videos on how to do that. We, we are our own saviors and we have to trust in our inner knowing that we are so powerful. We just don't believe it. Many people just don't believe it. They're like, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, but it's the truth. Um, I think that's it for today. Uh, so I hope that this is helpful for all of you watching um, and it helps you just put things into a different perspective and helps you to alleviate some fear um, and to channel your energy into positive intention and thought because that's where the future is. That's where we're going. Our intention is everything. Our mind will control everything. And if we're tapping in from a higher conscious, then that is where that information is coming from. If we're plugged into a primal human low density consciousness, then we will be working from ego. And we need to we need to bypass that ego and go into who we who we truly are, who we embody as as an as an, an individual in this reality, but also who we are as a as a light, as a light source and, and all the wisdom that we that we carry. Uh, so tune into that. Tune into that. Get in a relationship with yourself and embody love, patience, and do not engage in the fight. That's what they want. So take their power away. Do not give your power away anymore to anybody. Please. Okay, that's enough for today. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.